Hi Sagittarius, this is your week ahead reading, tarot and oracle card reading from Born Without Boundaries. <sighs> the energies are popping off. The fact that I'm even doing this reading for you in the light, the height energy of the full moon is incredible. Please do watch the weekend romance because there's a big message there for you, especially on Vimeo. <laughs> Just letting you know. Um, it's going to be a very beautiful, beautiful weekend for you. That's all I'm saying, Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius. Um, this is your weekly oracle and tarot card read, tarot, tarot, oracle and tarot card reading uh, from Born Without Boundaries. For those of you just discovering me, my name is Michelle, and this is my channel, Born Without Boundaries. Um, this is a week ahead forecast for the zodiac sign of Sagittarius. I start here on YouTube with a. Um, I start here on YouTube with an Oracle card reading, and then I clarify that with a full tarot card reading and romance reading over on Vimeo. Uh, for those of you who are on platforms that allow for commercials, there's going to be one coming up in the next couple of seconds. I wanna say thank you in advance. That's actually, with your patience, a donation to the channel. It helps and supports the channel a lot, and I wanna say thank you for it right now. So it's coming up in three, Two, one. I'll see you in a couple of seconds. For those of you who just sat through an awkward pause, thank you so much. For those of you who have returned, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Sagittarius, these are the energies from October 12th through the 19th of 2019 for you. October 12th through the 19th of 2019 for you, Sagittarius. This is your weekly forecast, general energies for the zodiac sign of Sagittarius for the week of October 12th through the 19th. For the week of October 12th through the 19th for the zodiac sign of Sagittarius. The week of October 12th through the 19th for the zodiac sign of Sagittarius. Um, this is, there's a lot of amorous energy coming through for you. A very abundant and beautiful week and lots of beautiful energy coming right across at the top of the, the top of the reading. Sagittarius for the week of October 12th through the 19th, 2019. The energies, remember, yes, this is going to be dated and yes, this is going to be stamped, but no, you can listen to this a year from now and the message will apply to you. I absolutely am sure of that. You end up hearing this video when you're supposed to. So Sagittarius, this is your energy for the week of October 12th through the 19th of 2019. Your energy, general energies for Sagittarius, the week of October 12th through the 19th, 2019. Okay, Sagittarius, a couple cards are out. Be loyal to what you love. Now, this is home. This is a home energy. There's a reason for you to be very close to home this week, Sagittarius. Even though you love to wander and you love to travel, there is a lot going on on your home front. So there's people to take care of and people to take care of you. There is, um, I think, some sort of issue that you have to work out in terms of your family life, in terms of your home life but it's exactly where you want to be. This is telling me it's your call. It's your energy. Your heart wants to be home this week. You may be traveling back home because you've been called home from a while, from a, from miles away. But this is you going back to that place that you feel is home. It could be your actual house or it could be the place in the world that you felt most comfortable and most loved and have your best memories about. Either way, you're being told to go home this week. You're being called home. In other words, I'm not even gonna have to tell it to you. It's almost like you want to be close to home, in the house, near those things that really love you, surrounded by unconditional love. It's going to be a very beautiful week for you because your heart is going to be full and it's going to be happy. In other words, you are going to be in total synchronicity. You are going to be exactly where you want to be this coming week and where you want to be is home. It's in that place where you feel unconditionally loved. This is also speaking of people that are around you being very loyal, the people that can love you unconditionally, the people that you know that you can trust. This is needing them to be around you. I'm not saying anything bad is happening, but what I'm saying is trust in this energy, trust in that call to go home and be surrounded by people who are authentic. Anybody you meet this week, anybody who's coming into your life, you'll be able to tell right away if they're authentic and there's somebody that you want around for a long period of time. But this also speaks to you 
um, kind of investigating how loyal you have been and how loving you have been. Have you been unconditionally loving? There's this sort of subverted feeling of maybe a little bit of guilt where you feel like you haven't done enough for somebody. I'm not saying that you haven't. I'm saying there's this emotional, there's this vibe coming from you that feels like you don't feel like you can do enough or you don't feel like you can give enough. And this could very well have to do with a family situation that you're dealing with. Like um, like not feeling like you're enough, not feeling like, like you did enough, maybe feeling like you were responsible if something happened to them. I don't think it was your responsibility. I, I don't think that you were, but there. this is just a testament, in other words, emotionally to how much this person means to you that you feel like there's you just can't do enough for them or that you haven't done enough and that you feel this sort of almost like survivor's guilt feeling like it happened to them you should have been there you should have been able to protect them things like that could be happening to some of you this week um not that something bad is going to happen to somebody but this would have already happened and these are the emotions that you're working through this week and maybe that's why you're staying so close to this person and staying so close to home because you want to care about you care about them so much you want to take care of them it's almost like your heart has been opened wide wide like split in two and it's actually a, just a beautiful energy Sagittarius because you're not always in this space usually you're in the space of what's next where can I go next and now you just want to be in this moment and soak in this moment um, to the very fullest that's the energy that's crowning your reading and don't worry guys I will flip around um, so that you can see the card view Next card for you is be fearless and bold, badger spirit. So this is get your diva on. This is that energy of coming back into yourself, reestablishing who you are and how you feel about you, and also being very, very attractive to other people. This is the energy of four. Four is very stable energy. It's earth energy. You know, think of the four of pentacles. Think of the four of wands. Think of the four of swords. Think of the four of... Um, cups this is energy that is that is um it's stable it's not going anywhere it's it's like it's not flat energy but yeah it's reliable energy which sort of just and these two don't they match right it's almost finding your soulmate in a place where you already knew them or they already were or close to home maybe meeting somebody if you're this there's definitely romance popping for you this weekend like i said right above I will attach the a video for the weekend romance. It'll be also attached to the end screen. I just want you guys to know, this is a lot of romance coming off, but this is, this is finding a match. This is almost not just finding your tribe. This is finding your heart in that place where you least expected it, which is close to home. Sagittarius, you always want to wander. You love to journey. So you would think that you would find somebody on the road, somebody who's a traveling spirit just like you. This energy, this spirit, this, this week is when you realize that you actually want somebody to stabilize you, to hold you down. Somebody who you can rely on to always be there for you and just how important family is. Mm. This is opening up. This is almost like holiday chakra, opening up that heart chakra opening up that energy that comes in around the holidays of just wanting to be close to a place that you love so much. Um, you could be dealing with a Pisces. I keep getting Pisces for you guys, but this is emotion is what it is. It's an emotional, it's emotion that's really peaked during this time of fire energy with the Aries full moon. Koi fish totem, there is always enough. You are enough, Sagittarius. And that's what spirit message wants you to know is that you have given enough Whatever feelings you feel of regret or remorse, that's it's it's okay. It's it's you have done enough. Um, whew, you have done enough, and you are enough. So accept the love that people are giving you this week, because this is a love that is this week is all about love. This week is all about heart and honoring who you care about the most and who cares about you the most it could be a celebration that you're having a lot of people a lot of people gathering just needing to be around and celebrating with those people who will validate your worth this is an emotional time for you emotions are running extremely high probably because of that that aries full moon it's like affecting your fire energy making it more emotional than it usually is but it's a good time to not be afraid of 
feelings and not be afraid and just honor your feelings and let yourself feel whatever you have to feel. Um, like I said, this could be very, um, very deep emotions, emotions that you don't normally experience, deep, deep, unabiding love, connecting with somebody that you are extremely in love with, uh, celebrating that love, somebody that really triggers your emotions that you wouldn't normally feel. You could be meeting somebody that makes you feel things that you normally didn't, it makes you see things in a very deep way. Philosophically, you guys are always on point, like you guys are always thinking of the big picture, but this person makes you think of the depths of the big picture. This is you being inspired to look at things more deeply and maybe being told, Sagittarius, you need to look at things more deeply this week because just a glance over is not going to be enough. There's a need for you to dive deep and like swim around in the places where you normally wouldn't look. I don't think this is secrets being revealed. I just think these are insights. This is information. This is like illumination that you normally wouldn't have gotten because you wouldn't have normally spent this much time on something. But this week is a very good week to do that and you'll have the time. I almost feel like things are slowing down for you and for you, and I've said this about you, I've said this about you before, for you what slowing down means is that you're actually going to be in the now, in the here and in the now. And there is something happening very close to your heart space or your home where you don't want anything but the right now. Right now is exactly where you want to be. You want to live in this moment for as long as possible. So this is a very romantic time. It's a very loving time. And I like the fact that this card came out is just, it's, it's too perfect. Trust in the great mystery. And the great mystery for you is those depths that you usually don't explore. So Sagittarius, let this happen. This is deep emotion this week. Really, really deep, loving, unabiding. Like let yourself be very comfortable in that space. Normally, I don't think you would be. I think it would be very drowning for you. I feel like this week, it's you that's diving deep. You're taking the plunge. You're deciding to be in that relationship with somebody. You're leveling up your commitment to somebody or to a project or to your job. You are you. It's yourself that wants this energy all around it because it feels very confident. It feels very comfortable. And like I said, this energy is Aries energy. So it is very comfortable. Even though it is emotion and it is moon energy, it is that fiery moon energy. So you actually won't be smothered by it. You will be fueled by it. It's almost like getting lost in an oil pit that's been set on fire for you. Like you're drowning in fuel for you. You're drowning in gasoline. You're not drowning in it. You're jumping in into it because it's fueling you and that's what you're swimming in this energy that will fuel you and let it be emotional and let it be deep you want it you want it you're calling this in like your energy is no I really want this this week um yeah I really want this this insight I really want this advice I really want this this week um I'm sitting here looking at dragonfly and this is very scorpionic energy sort of transcending who you normally are and going to places you normally don't go this could be going into the underworld this could be dealing with um things that you don't like to deal with but because they're about somebody that you care about so much you have no questions no questions asked you're going to deal with them and you're going to get through it and you're you were decided to be on that person's side because you, they would never leave your side and you couldn't imagine leaving them. You're very, very loyal. This is somebody that you're very loyal to. This is a situation that you're very loyal to. And this is actually being something more than what you usually are. Um, yes, yeah, so you could also be this. This could also be Leo energy. This is um, transitional energy, in other words. This is because dragonfly starts in the water and ends up in the air. So it's it's almost like you this week, Sagittarius, you're going through this alchemical transformation. There's a big change, in other words, happening in your life and in your social circle. And you're welcoming it. You want this. It's like you want to fly. You're ready to fly. And this energy, this fire is fueling the wind beneath your wings, almost like, like hot, airs, hot, hot air balloons ride, ride on uh, that hot that hot air <laughs> um, and that's what you're doing you're like using it to allow you to rise you rise this week that's what's happening 
Yeah, you are definitely trans transcending to another level of who you are, of maturity, another level in your life, another level in social standing, social status. You are transcending what you have been and you're becoming what you will be. Freedom is yours. Oh, so this is a beautiful energy with the rest of this energy because it just confirms this isn't change that's being forced upon you. It's change that you're asking for. It's change. It's in other words, it's your decision. You are making it um, free from guilt by the end of this week. If you have felt guilty for anything, you will have resolved it. By allowing yourself to dive deep and feel those feelings, you'll be washed free. It's almost like a cleansing week for you, a healing week for you. It's almost like you've transcended a life cycle that you never thought you'd get out of, but you're breaking free by actually growing your wings and flying and overcome any obstacle. This is the per like this is perfect energy. You could be dealing with a Taurus in particular, but this is what I say, stabilizing energy. This is grounding energy. This is people coming and celebrating you and you allowing it. But this is also, like I said, with horse spirit, you breaking free from an old cycle that held you tethered to an unhappy circumstance or an unhappy situation. And it could just be a mindset that you had, Sagittarius, like, like always, I don't know, anything, but just jumping to the net, wanting to jump to the next, jump to the next, jump to the next, almost got to be, you were stuck in it. Even though it seemed adventurous and it seemed like you were never stuck, it almost became something you were stuck in because it's like you always needed to do this to feel good about yourself. You're breaking that pattern. You're, you're realizing that that's not the truth, that this was actually another pitfall and trap for you. You're busting through it and liberating yourself from that this week, Sagittarius. Let me turn the camera around so that you can see the card. If that isn't a beautiful spread, I don't know what it is. So this is the energy crowning your week this week. Loyal, home, be true to what you love and don't be afraid to love. And this is the thing, this week, you're not afraid to love. You're absolutely not like that Mark Anthony song, I'm not afraid to love. I'm not afraid to love. For the first time, I'm not afraid of love. I'm not afraid to love. Um, I'll actually try to attach it above for you. <laughs> um... It's one of my favorite songs by him, but, but it is like, it's let, this is, yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? Like you have learned to fly. Oh, sorry. You've let your life, your life has sprung up from the ashes. It's almost like a Phoenix energy rising and becoming something new and conquering things. This is forward move, mo motion. So this week, it's a very interesting mental and psychological place for you because you're moving forward. You're continuing to make progress emotionally and even psychologically, but this is a maturation. Your movement is internal inside yourself this week. It's not moving around or it's not moving a project forward. It's like you are your project this week and you love it. You love it because it's not something that you usually indulge in or get time to think about. You usually don't get that time to yourself to invest in yourself and you actually are. And I think it's because of this energy that has called you home. Maybe home is actually your heart. Like home is where your heart is. It's your heart itself. Taking that time to give yourself all of those things or allow the attention and affection to come in from people that really care about you and that you know really care about you. Yeah, I just have this, I just have this feeling that you're, that the energy is very compatible this week and that's why you trust it. So whatever this message or this help, wherever this help is coming from for you, it's a place where you really trust it. Like it's, it's such a reliable source that there's no way that even if it feels weird, even if it normally wouldn't be something that you dealt like dove into, you're taking the plunge. Like you're climbing up to the top platform and diving off because you know that this water is going to be cool and clear and you want to go there. In other words, that's what I'm saying. You want to go to this place. This energy is leading you. And I really feel like you're overcoming some sort of karmic cycle that you were a part of. Maybe inside, inside yourself, like I said, you always wanted to travel because really you were running away from something. Maybe you were stayed away from long-term committed relationships because you didn't care about them or didn't think you cared about them. This is doing a, a total 180. In other words, turning turning like doing something that is outside of your character and you're doing it because you realize you were trapped 
in that character that you built around yourself and that it was actually just a quote unquote character that you created because this is who you thought you wanted to be and you recognize that you were stuck and you don't want to be stuck anymore. So you're not afraid to do things that are more emotional and more focused on the here and now. And that's where your movement is. Your movement has gone from terrestrial, from 3D, into philosophical and esoteric. That's where your movement is, Sagittarius, in that it's almost like you're growing up. This is a time that you are transcending yourself and moving to a next stage in your life. All the specifics I'm going to put on Vimeo, we're going to go into a full tarot card reading about what exactly this event may be, because I do feel like it's centered around a specific thing happening to you. Like I said, this could be a new partner you're meeting. Um, I'm going to clarify with tarot, pull a whole tarot spread for you, as well as um, do a romance prediction for this whole week. So we take what we learned this weekend and the weekend romance energy for you, which is also the Aries full moon energy for you. And then we're going to expend it out and see this week what's going to be happening to you. All right, Sagittarius, I will see you there.